we will be cultivated by doing something we can touch and see that's why we have a tradition like this Sadiha. Hello, hello everybody. In the northeastern Thailand or well known as Isan, there are the 12 Isan Maris making tradition hit song. Sip song is mean 12. For Isan people, they are traditions all of the months of the year every month have fun tradition it's like in the 10th month is bun khao saak bun khao saak khao saak is like snack snack for the ancestor but now we we just cook it we just make it or buy it only in this tradition, rarely, rarely eat it. Bun Khao Sa is a ceremony for ancestors who already passed away a few days before we go to the temple in the full moon day. I have to go to my relatives home to give them what I have. I grow my plant in my garden I give them some food or I buy something that I think they don't have and give it to them and they come to my home they also come to my home and give me some rice some snack something that they think I don't have or I need it <laughs> each other every month all the time the whole year right <laughs> the Thai people that's why almost everyone say Isan people they are so kind this tradition we were taught to help people we were taught to share something like this Moreover, in the full moon day, there is a ceremony for our ancestors. Isan people believe that this is their time for the, our ancestor who already who already passed away to turn back to the world. People who who are alive prepare some food real fish every kind of food um sweet prepare for them this thing show that we are thankful for we are grateful for what our ancestors had done for us <laughs> After the monks get their share of the food, people put the rest of it out around of the temple, on the ground, under the tree, in the top of binary wall. Everywhere around the temple. Pouring the water on Vietnam is a ceremony to pass the memory for the person we are thinking of at the time we pouring the water. 
รวจน้ำWait for a while, and after that, we take the food from the top of tree that we raid a lot before back to our farm fields, our homes. It's like taking something good back, and the good thing will come to our farm fields, our home, our garden, something like that. Finally, this tradition will get some good thing. Will cultivate good thing in our children to know how to share and feel good about sharing and being thankful for what they parent, what they relative or our ancestor had done for us. And I'm thankful for them. Also, thank you for watching video. I think you will get something good from this, and you will know about Thai people and Thailand traditions in Thailand more. And let's see in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.